students this video deals with a very important topic of chemistry known as mole mole is an SI unit for measuring the amount of a substance so let's see what the concept of mole is before discussing it you should know what stoichiometry is it's a branch of chemistry which deals with the study of quantitative relationship between reactants and products in a balanced chemical equation so it deals with the quantitative relationship between reactants and products for example you can see the formation of water molecule water is formed by hydrogen and oxygen two moles of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen to form two moles of steam or two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen to produce two molecules of water or you can say that 4 grams of hydrogen react with 32 grams of oxygen to produce 36 grams of water. So here, the total mass of reactants is equal to the total mass of products. So it confirms the law of conservation of mass. Now let's see what mole is. The atomic mass for elements, the formula mass for ionic compounds, and the molecular mass for covalent compounds of a substance expressed in grams is called mole. So the mass expressed in grams is called mole. Or there's another definition, the amount of substance which contains Avogadro number of particles is called mole. Avogadro number. Let's see what this is. But first you should know that one should relate it to a quantity such as dozen or pair. Just as a dozen is 12 and a pair means two shoes, two books, two pencils, etc. A mole means 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So, just like dozen is 12 and a pair is 2, mole is this much quantity and this is known as Avogadro number, which is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. It is denoted by N, I repeat, mole is denoted by N, so it's the SI unit of measuring the quantity of substance. For element, 1 mole of sodium is 23 grams. Sodium, it's an element. For a molecular compound, for example, water, one mole of water has 18 grams of particles. An ionic compound, sodium chloride, one mole of sodium chloride is 58.5 grams. So, the mass expressed in grams is mole. Now, you see, different compounds or elements, they have different grams, they have different masses, but they have the same number of particles. How come? On the screen, you can see that lithium, sodium, and potassium, they belong to the first group of the periodic table. Lithium has 7 grams and it makes 1 mole, but it has 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 particles. Similarly, sodium has 23 grams, but it has the same number of particles. And potassium, it is 39 grams, but again, it has the same number of particles. But you can see the size of the particles vary. See? So that is why the mass is different, but the Avogadro number is the same. So one mole has different mass, but they have the same number of particles, which is known as Avogadro number. I hope it's clear up till now. Now let's see the formula for number of moles. You can find number of moles for a given mass, for a given amount of mass. Like you can see, for example, sodium, 23 grams, which is the atomic mass, makes one mole. It is simple unitary method. 1 gram makes 1 by 23 moles and for a given amount of mass which you can say m grams it is 1 by 23 into m or m by 23 or you can say the given mass over atomic mass so you can find the number of moles for any given amount of mass so the formula says the number of moles is given mass of the substance over atomic mass molecular mass or formula mass the number of particles present in one mole of a substance is Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, and the symbol is Na. One mole of sodium is 23 grams, but it has the same number of particles. One mole of sulfuric acid is 98 grams, but again, it is the same number of particles, that is the Avogadro number. And one mole of water, it is 18 grams, but again, it has the same number of particles. That is the Avogadro number, 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. The number of particles you can determine by the formula, which is number of moles into Avogadro number. It is again simple unitary method. 
In specific number of moles, you can find the number of particles by simply multiplying it with the Avogadro number. This person you can see on the screen is Avogadro and this person is behind all this knowledge. Now let's see the determination of Avogadro's number. How come that this specific number is the Avogadro number? How this number is determined? There was an experiment conducted which I'm going to discuss in the next part of the video. Now focus on the video. In the experiment, both electrodes in the electrolytic cell are of copper and electrolyte is sulfuric acid. The positive electrode loses mass as the copper atoms are converted to copper ions. So it loses mass. The anode loses mass. The loss of mass is visible as the pitting of the electrode surface. The copper ions make the solution blue. And at the negative terminal, that is the cathode, hydrogen gas is liberated due to the reduction of hydrogen positive ions in the aqueous sulfuric acid solution. So the hydrogen gas is liberated at the negative terminal, which is the cathode. Now, diagrammatically, you can see that anode copper, cathode, it is also copper. The electrolyte is sulfuric acid and an amide is attached to find the coulombs, that is the current passing through it. From Millikan's oil drop experiment, which I'm going to discuss in my next videos, so stay tuned. But for the time being, the charge on a single electron is 1.60 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. Coulomb is the quantity of charge. So, single electron has this much coulomb. The number of electrons that float between two electrodes is the total coulombs, that is the total charge over charge on one electron. So, you can find the number of electrons. Each copper atom releases two electrons when it is oxidized. So the number of copper positive two ions is number of electrons divided by two. Very simple. Now the moles of copper ions we can find by simple the formula that I discussed earlier. That is the given mass over the atomic mass. And the given mass is initial anode mass minus the final anode mass divided by the atomic mass of copper. And as I discussed earlier, the number of particles, the formula is number of moles into Avogadro number. So the Avogadro number you can find by simply dividing the number of particles by the number of moles. So in this way, number of copper ions divided by the number of moles of copper positive 2 ions, it results in the Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. These are the simple unitary method and simple formulas. And in this way, the Avogadro number was determined. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.